Hello again, and here's a tutorial continuing with um, how to design uh, your GUI for iOS applications, but this is equally applicable, could be to websites or um, other mobile platforms. Uh, so in the previous tutorial, we'd already made these uh, header bars, and we looked at how to make uh, buttons with a kind of embossed recessed text effect. We also made a customized um, box for a UI text field. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is take a look how to make this type of uh, recessed push button um, type effect. So let's go through um, basically how we do this. So first of all we're going to create a uh, round rounded rectangle button. Um, I'm doing this in a graphics package called Sketch. It's available in the App Store. I find it very useful for um, making uh, uh, GUI elements for my iOS applications, but you can apply these principles also in Photoshop as well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and make uh, our rounded rectangle. Whoops. Select tool. So we place our rounded rectangle in to the page. And we'll remove the borders and we'll give it a fill with a gradient. And we'll start from quite a dark color, going to a lighter gray. So, this is our first uh, box we want to create and we'll choose the rounded rectangle tool again zoom in on this and we draw in another rounded rectangle which fits inside our box I want to try and make this so you've got equal space around each side All right, and then we're going to also add a fill to this. Which will be the color for our button. So let's make this button a, uh, a lightish gray color. You just have to play around with the, uh, the gradients to get the kind of um, effect that you're looking for. And then the other thing we want to do is change our border color to a dark gray. And the final thing to give it a uh, kind of 3D look is we add an inner shadow. Let's just alter the color of that. Okay. We'll make this a little more gray in color. To a lighter gray. So now we have our um, button on top of the uh, slightly recessed edge. Again, you can play around with the, the size to get the desired effect until you're happy with it. And finally, we get our shape tool and we get an oval. I'm going to draw sorry, our oval shape in here. 
center that up and we want to add an inner shadow but we make it quite faint so we'll change our alpha down to a quite a low opacity setting and then we add a fill again we want a gradient going from dark to light so relatively dark at the top we want to add in an additional point just want to play around with the gradient settings until you get the type of 3d effect that we're looking for and then our border select the color it looks just about right and there we have our button with a recessed type of interior effect to it. Like I say, you just play around with these uh, gradient settings until you get the kind of desired effect. It's all to do with subtleties. You don't want any of these effects to be too strong. You want everything to be just subtle enough to give that 3D effect without it looking fake. Just play around with the settings until you get it looking just how you want it. There, there we have it, our finished button. Of course, we could, if we wanted, place the embossed text effect onto this button rather like what we uh, did in a previous tutorial. Another cool thing you could do here would be to create a series of buttons, a series of square buttons along here. If we change this uh, base color to a yellowish white, And then our overlay also change the color of this. We can create a series of buttons that will go along the uh, along our block. So it looks like we have several buttons there. So we want to get kind of a plasticky yellow looking color. So you can play around with the buttons to get the uh, color that you wish. And then again, you can place the oval into the center of the button. I'm doing this quite quickly for the purposes of the tutorial, but you can spend a bit more time playing around with the colors to get them looking just how you want them. Once you get it to the right shade and colors that you like, we have an inner shadow again. There, you see, we have a, a button with a, a recess to it. So, really, it's down to use of the, uh, the inner shadow and the uh, correct type of gradient. You just play around with the, the gradient um, until you get the desired effect and then you could line these up so we have 
several of them. Put this around the outside edge. Now, so now, see here, it looks like we have several buttons. inside of a slightly recessed um, edge there. So you can see the type of different effects that can be achieved by uh, use of the inner shadow and gradients and uh, then we just export these out and we place them into our, our application. Now if we wanted to make it look like one of these is pressed in while the others are uh, sticking out, we would just uh, apply to this uh, a darker effect. So we would play around with this setting just to get a darker shade to it. So it would appear that this button is pushed and is lower than the others. you can see now with this type of effect it looks like the middle button is pressed in and the others are pressed out. So what we could do is uh, put these buttons into, um, into our iOS application and change uh, the image used when a particular button is pressed. So it looks like that particular button has been pushed in when the user selects it. So play around with the shadows and play around with these uh, types of effects and you'll be able to start to generate some really cool looking um, buttons and uh, other user elements for your GUI and that really will finish off your application. Um, you want to try and steer clear of using the kind of generic standard um, user interface buttons that are provided with Apple and really try and be creative and come up with your own ideas. So here's just an example that gives you a starting point. Um, you can research further from here. Uh, there's plenty of other tutorials out there that give instructions on how to use Photoshop um, and search around and to really try and become creative and uh, it'll really give your app that kind of finishing touch. Um, People like to see uh, an application on their phone uh, or device which looks good, pleasing to the eye. And uh, so really, you should spend as much time um, on the code uh, as you do on the graphics. In fact, uh, I actually find myself more and more spending more and more time uh, on the GUI elements of my applications, really making them look good and making them pop rather than um, spending too much time on the code these days.